Hello folks, today I'm sharing my experience with the PlayStation 5 Slim. Is it worth buying or should you wait for the next big thing? What are its advantages over other devices? Let's dive in and find out. Let's start with the look. The PS5 Slim is a more streamlined and neat version of its predecessor. Released at the end of last year, it fits perfectly on a stand next to the TV and doesn't take up as much space as the original PS5. It's like if your favorite pizza suddenly shrank to the size of a sandwich but stayed just as tasty. I won't spend much time on the unboxing because the console has been out for about half a year and this information is already well known. I'll just say that everything you need to start playing right after unboxing is included. It's all standard, one console, one controller, an HDMI cable, a power cable and a user manual. As they say, nothing extra. However, it's important to note that the package includes the new DualSense controller, which significantly enhances the gaming experience with adaptive triggers and haptic feedback. I also immediately bought an extra controller because I love co-op games, and a second controller is a must for multiplayer gaming. The PlayStation 5 Slim comes with all the necessary ports, two USB-A ports, one USB-C port, HDMI 2.1, Ethernet, and a headphone jack. The ports are conveniently located, and connecting various devices is a breeze. Now let's talk about the console's performance, and here I'll start with something I didn't expect, how quiet it is under load. Honestly, I thought it would be much louder, but it's surprisingly quiet, much quieter than my laptop. This is likely due to one of the main upgrades in the PS5 Slim compared to the original PS5. The cooling system has been updated and now works more efficiently, allowing you to enjoy gaming sessions without unnecessary noise. As for heat, like any device, the PS5 Slim does get a bit warm under load, but it's not critical. It's like when you watch TV for too long and it starts to get a little warm. Nothing to worry about, just a sign that it's working hard so you can enjoy your game. The fans do their job and the console doesn't overheat, which is especially important for long gaming sessions without lag. Now for the most exciting part, the games. The first thing I bought was Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Assassin's Creed Origins because they were on sale in the PS Store. I started playing Valhalla on my PC and had long wanted to continue on the console. It's a completely different experience. The graphics and gameplay look great on the big screen. And as I mentioned, I love co-op games, so on the first first day, my wife and I started playing It Takes Two. For context, my wife had never played on a PC, except for the first Sims and Diablo in her childhood or a console before, but she quickly got the hang of it and enjoyed it more than she expected. Last night, for example, we played until 3am fighting the tool boss and it was a blast. I also bought Mortal Kombat and a couple of games for the kids. In general, in my case, the PS5 Slim is like an entertainment center for the whole family. Now to the main question, what's the point of the PS5? PS5. Isn't it easier to build a PC for the same money? Of course, building a PC is easier and more practical. You get the games you want and better performance, but if you already have a PC and work at it all day, the ability to relax on the couch in front of a big screen with a gamepad in hand is something special. It's like a mini vacation every evening. And here comes the main requirement for the PS5. A big 4K TV and a comfortable couch are essential for a gaming console and give it meaning. So yes, in my opinion, the essence of the PS5 is in a big quality TV. The graphics look stunning on it and you can fully enjoy all the visual effects of modern games. What are the advantages of the PS5 Slim over the original PS5? First of all, it's compact and lightweight. It doesn't take up much space and is easier to set up. Additionally, the updated cooling system makes it quieter. It's like getting the same powerful engine but in a more compact and convenient body. Besides, the PS5 Slim consumes less power, making it more economical economical in the long run. Should you wait for PS5 Pro? While Sony hasn't officially announced the PlayStation 5 Pro yet, rumors and leaks have already started to fill the internet. Usually the Pro version of a console comes out a few years after the original model and the PS5 is no exception. It's expected that the PS5 Pro will offer significant improvements in performance, graphics and new features. In this regard, the PS5 Pro might support 8K resolution. The decision to wait for the PS5 Pro or buy the current model depends on your personal needs and preferences. In my opinion, if you want to enjoy games right now, the current models of the PS5 and PS5 Slim are an excellent choice. If you already have a PS5, there's no point in switching to the PS5 Slim, I think that's pretty obvious. But to sum up, the PlayStation 5 Slim is an excellent console that combines power and compactness. It's quiet, powerful and perfect for gaming on a large 4K TV. Whether you're playing solo or with your family, the PS5 Slim will provide you with unforgettable moments.
performance. To fully enjoy the PS5 Slim's capabilities, a quality TV is essential. A large 4K TV with a high refresh rate is ideal. And don't forget about a comfortable couch. After a long day at work, there's nothing better than settling down on a soft couch with a controller in hand and diving into the virtual world for an hour or two. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. I'm looking forward to your feedback and suggestions for future reviews. Happy gaming and see you soon.